What is up guys, Fuji720p here, bringing you an informed Nathan Ridman review. So he's 17 years of age and he plays in the Empower League for Birmingham City. His preferred position is on the wings, standing at a height of 5 foot 8. So let's have a quick look at his in-game stats. The four main areas in which he has been improved are his pace, agility, dribbling and passing. Uh, if you wish to pause the video then please do, but we're going to be moving on to uh, talk about his pace. As soon as you get Redmond on the ball, you can feel that this guy has some crazy pace, even without pushing him to the limit. I lost count on uh, a number of times I would just skip past my opponent's defence with ease. He reminds me of a bit like um, a Bonder Hall with that high pace to slightly low ball control, but I shall cover that later on in the video. Now moving on to his shooting, if I were to show you clips of me just scoring with him, it wouldn't have actually been a sort of genuine review. Redmond is very much hit and miss I found, although he can score on occasions, most of the time you'd be through on goal and it would either go straight to the goalkeeper or just stupidly wide. His long shots are very inconsistent I found, so I find getting him in, in that box and, and the chances of scoring are in about 70% or so. Now let's talk about his passing, his short pass is up to scratch, he's a perfect player to be using the give and code tactic with. One thing that really did annoy me was his crossing, this isn't good when the guy's a winger and his job is to either cut inside and produce balls in the box. Every time I would cross for some reason it would be a decent enough ball but nothing would come of it. The main thing that I took from this were the uh, passes were actually accurate and the crosses uh, were so as well so playing more and more games it would eventually pay off. Now onto his dribbling, this has to be the standout ability that Nathan Redmond actually possesses. The slightly low but good ball control means he's extremely quick to cover the ground both with or without the ball. Ever so fun to use and when you do have the ball at his feet you kind of start forgetting that he is only still a silver player. Right, so now I've talked about and covered his pace, shot, passing and dribbling, let's have a look what Redmond actually did for me. So like I found him extremely persistent, I can't stress this enough actually, just after losing the ball, the guy would have like a knack of winning it back right away, lucky bounces, deflections, you name it, he was like a magnet when, uh, when it comes to winning the actual ball back. So his low strength of 40 really didn't feel that low, when he was surrounded by players it would uh, be him on occasions doing the actual barging. I tried him out in a few positions, left wing, left forward, uh, right wing, right forward and even right midfield. The positions which I found him uh, to be most used used out with a right wing and uh, right forward position due to his high to slow attacking work rates. He was always looking to get high up the field and uh, make those penetrating ones which you actually do start noticing very well. Right, let's have a look at some pros and cons. So starting with pros, he's extremely quick, uh, good short pass, fantastic dribbling and uh, makes those really, really good runs. So now on to the cons. His crossing is somewhat inconsistent at times. His ball control on occasion does let him down and uh, 100k for his uh, price which he is currently going at is somewhat expensive. So if you're looking for a player to focus on running down that line and uh, taking advantage of his dribbling by cutting inside and then laying it off rather than crossing, then I think he would actually be a perfect winger for you. If you're looking for someone to uh, cutting and unleash consistent shots and great crossing, then he's not going to live up to your uh, standards. So to sum this review up, I would reward Nathan Redmond a rating of 7.5 out of 10. So don't get me wrong guys, he's a nice little player to have and if you can stretch that 100k which is his current price now on the market, I think he's well worth trying out. So that's the end of the review guys, if you did find it beneficial please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as it really does help my channel out and if you want to share the content, just brilliant, it really really does help. So that's it from me guys, until tomorrow, take it easy, I've been your boy Fuji 720 p love ya, peace.